it's it's easy to be late. <laughs> yeah, I haven't haven't done. I'm just busy to moving, so like packing. Oh my god, I have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I can't imagine moving from our house. We've been here for like 23 or 25 years. Okay, I have been leaving this house for 15 years. I actually start my business from this house. So, well, this time, you know, most of the stuff is belong to the company. It belongs to the company? Yeah, it's like my studio, like a, oh. the, the workshop, the, the, the machine, the, um, the rubbers, mm -hmm. all the plates, those kind of stuff. So how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, still do a lot of crafting? Um, off and on. I've been really super busy at work. And uh, so, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be caught up at work around September, October. It's the summer. Well, yeah, and that is a busy time for us, but it's just a lot of work at you are in the, like an accounting business, right? Yes. Oh. And it's for a a rental car agency, so that makes it even worse. Oh, the rental car? Does the COVID affect your business? It did dramatically the first year. Oh. I mean, the first couple of years, actually, I should say the first, maybe the first year and a half, but then people started... Um, showing up again and this year has been the busiest year we've ever had oh okay what's the summer like in alaska well now it's rainy hi king i can see hi, you Lisa. Oh, hi kim how are you hi, amanda. i'm doing good hey good, good. to see you from illinois hi amanda i have a question for you though not a, not anything about stamping Okay, sure. Do you do you watch the show Virgin River on Netflix? No. Why? Oh my gosh. It is filmed in Vancouver. Oh, okay. And do you and like Cindy, it? Virgin Cindy and River? I, Cindy and I want to come up there and have, and you can give us a tour of where they do it at. Absolutely. Which river? You know what? Oh, maybe the river just next to me because in front of my house, Actually, there's a one lock house. They play a lot of movie. Maybe it's the right play, play right in front of my house. You're moving? I'm moving, yeah. Did 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 husband build you a new house? In the process. So we are moving wow. from the house we built to the another house. So it's a disaster. I have a, like a endless boxing. <laughs> What's that is, movie called? Okay, so is it okay? Is that your hands? Is this your is this your table in front of you? This is the table in front of me. That's you, right? Yeah. Wait, let me write it down. What's that movie called? Virgin. Virgin River. Virgin, Virgin. River. See, maybe it's the shooting in front of my house because uh, two house on my three house. Next to my house is a river. Really? Yeah. That would be cool. Well, yeah, you know it's the, on YouTube. You know the global warming? The, <laughs> year, the river is uh, almost uh, overflow. We are we, we, we are like a close to be the flood zone, but not on the flood zone, but it was uh, scary. <laughs> Okay. So you probably don't mind moving then. <laughs> I don't mind moving because uh, but it's hard to move from a new house to the old house because that house is going to be destroyed soon, right? So it's a kind of need some adjustment, but that's okay. Hey, hey guys, Cindy, do you want me to hang up with you? Um. Let me hang up yeah, with you. because now you're on my screen. Okay. 
Bye. All right, bye. King, King in Alaska, you know, I am planning to run a Caribbean cruise in February. Oh, really? Would you like to come? There's somebody else. You can get away from the cold weather. I hear my sister, but I don't see her. Um, well, I don't have a probably, picture there. She probably um, didn't turn on her um, camera. Yeah, fine. Lisa Yang. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hi, you... Lisa. This is Cindy, but my picture's not up, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. She doesn't want to show her face. Yes. I don't know how to do that. What are you doing? It's okay. Well, Cindy, I, I did my computer with video. That's okay. You know, on the left bottom corner, there is a logo show the video. So you click that video, you can choose you want to show your face or not. Hmm, mine doesn't, mine's just showing a white circle and a white body. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. Hi, Amanda, how are you? See, look at go over here, see what she's doing. Okay. Lisa, are we going to need all of our colors? What color? You mean the, the, the ink pad? All the ink pads, we need all of them because I'm opening up new ones. Uh, you don't need all the ink pad colors, just a few. You have enough time if you need to go oh grab something. I got plenty here. Okay, so remind me, is this the mushroom class or is this the marker class? Because I took this both. This is the so, mushroom yeah. class. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, thank you. Good, because that's what I, I was getting ready. <laughs> I want to know why Kathy's like, I don't know which one I'm doing today. Why is Kim in Alaska? <laughs> so we have a you know, I don't care. My so I just got these new uh, Catherine Pooler inks. I was thinking good. of trying them out. Oh, that's good because I'm using the Catherine, uh, Catherine yeah, Pooler's uh, ink pack too. I got Catherine Pooler also. That's what I'm using today too. Everybody, Plus all these mementos that- You know what? My favorite ink pack is still the memento. Did you get refills? Yeah, yeah. Did you get the refills <laughs> while you were at the show? No, the- Nobody sell the memento in um, refill. Yeah. I guess I have to order from the their website. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you have all the memento color king in Alaska? I I think I have one or two mementos. That's it. That's, That's it. Lisa, will we be using brown and black? Uh, we are not going to use the brown and black. Okay. Okay. So king in Alaska. This is the other king in the Illinois. Yep, that's the Kim in Illinois. <laughs> what now? And then this is Amanda from Arizona. I don't think you have to get down. I'm here in my sister. Yes. Yes. Cindy is from Clearwater. Yep, I'm from Clearwater. Cool. I'm from New Douglas, Illinois. You know what? I have new. Okay, so we are going to need our magic mushroom. We are going to have uh, some water. So we're going to have some water here. We are going to have uh, some impact, all the color you like. It doesn't matter if you need to go grab some, you have time. We take these and, off. And uh, we need a wet cloth. Oh, here. And then we oh. need a one dry cloth. We need some Watercolor car stop plan. Why do we need watercolor car stop? And then um, you will receive an email with a video link um, if you miss something so you can watch the replay. If you have one background, have one background ready too, we are going to use the magic mushroom to color the background instead of the impact. Some um, print uh, image. Hey, King, you know, and the Cindy in Clearwater. We are thinking about to run a five day cruise, leaving from Tampa to Caribbean, right after Stanfast in Clearwater. And then the price is actually so good. I show you the price. What's the price? the price okay 
For the inside cabin, five day cruising is only $239. How much? $239. Is that the whole price or do you have to add on all the tax? I think you have to add the, the tax, the poor fee. You said, you said $739? No, $239. $239 for five days. Yeah, that's the inside cabin. The ocean view car cabin is a star 332. And uh, the balcony one is a 354. 354, that's cheap. For the cap, uh, for the cap, uh, for the balcony. It, yeah, me. Um, who do we contact about all the information? Not yet, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to Vancouver. Come to Vancouver. Oh, they actually, the cruise company, they are planning to have a, a mountain train of uh, the train tour leaving from Vancouver in 2024. But I think that's a from Vancouver to Banff to Jasper. I thought if I came to Vancouver, you'd give me a personal tour of all the Virgin Rivers places. Ab absolutely. Come. <laughs> I show you my hoot. <laughs> Okay. We Cindy, go to the Alaska cruise. We go to the King in Alaska. The first, not brown and black, all the other. Colors. I'm just looking yeah, through my stuff. Know. We can go to Cindy, Alaska. Cindy, your Disney video King. isn't up. Cindy. I can't get, Kim, I can't get my picture. What picture? I have to go to settings and I'm afraid that if I, uh, I, w I don't want to lose Lisa. Four minutes. That's okay. We have a Gary here too. Hi, Patty. Hey, Lisa. How are you? So if I if I get out of here, okay, should I hit this circle? Should I hit this here to go to settings? I have to leave for a minute. I have to go to the other end of the table. She has to help me because I'm very computer illiterate here. If I it's okay. okay. What are we gonna work on no, first, don't Lisa? You we are going to Working on preparing the magic mushroom. Have you guys used your magic mushroom yet? Yes. Send, yeah. Are we going to are we well, going to work that, on um, <laughs> are we gonna work on this one? Yeah, yeah. we're going to, but not now. We are oh, what's don't first? Worry. Eddie, you have yes. enough time. You have hi Wendy, so how are you? Hey. Wendy is from Richmond, right? Yeah. Hey, Wendy. And I, we are leaving probably only like a 25 Allie, minutes away from each other. Really? Yeah. yeah. Cool. She's in break, she's close to our airport. So if we want to go to the airport, we can go say hi to Wendy. It's, it's a good thing, Lisa, when you, when you sent the email, you, you said 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, because I thought it was 1 p.m. Oh, okay. My God. I would have missed the class. Oh, here's a Margaret. Hi, from the, um, the, the, the Virginia, right? Gotta have settings somewhere. <gasps> and the Catherine's online too. Okay, so we are going to Video start effect. in two oh. minutes. I have and then, you know, guys, we just want to have fun yeah. and then um, learning some okay. blinking oh. technique. Okay, so oh, just relax and have fun. If you don't want to show your face, you can turn off your nope, camera. No, no, no. See, if you don't want to show your face, turn off your camera. Well, I just can't figure out where you're. Where? We're still hey, trying. Hey, King. <laughs> King, Cindy, you I had a screen that said video. Yes, that's yeah, the place well, you have to camera is, Her camera is turned off. And... Okay, so you have to click that video sign next to the microphone yeah. sign on the left but bottom it's... corner. But, but then it... it tells me okay. to go to security settings. She's got it turned off in her security, in her settings, and I cannot figure out how to get there. <laughs> okay, Lisa, do you want me to jump in and help her real quick? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, I'm going oh, sure. to use the computer. Somebody tell expert. her how to get Okay. I don't have an iPad. Okay, I'm going to let Amanda talk. She's a computer geek. <laughs> and I have an iPad, just to let you know. Uh, okay. okay, so iPads are different. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm using, I'm an I, IBM Microsoft person. So, okay. Yeah. Working on different substrates, right? Just kind of tones it down, gives it a little... 
Yeah, we might. Uh, you might have to go like drop down your menu at the top and do your settings, um, your sure. little widget. We tried that. And then, is there a search option for video? Um, I'm just afraid I'm going to lose Lisa if I get out. It's okay. You can just double click your little circle button to get back again. Uh, your circle button. It's a great one. That get that one. Okay, saying. I'm going to try that. Okay, yep. so here we are in. I should get the settings somehow in here. Here, settings. Yeah, it's usually if you pull down yes. from the top, you'll okay. see the settings. Um, Hard to see. Display and brightness, home, spring and lock. Um, iPad. Airdrop. It's not going to be that. Sounds. And you no, said this is an iPad, right? Yes. So does she go to oh, display? Oh, it's under um, the settings and they go to photos and cameras. Photos and cameras. I thought it told you to go. There's photos and yeah, she went. There's camera. Pick the camera. Okay, we're going to give you the other two more minutes to try to figure out. We're going to okay, start I it. I think it's under privacy is where I thought it That's said what she to said go. Under privacy, which is there. Okay. All right. Camera. Camera. Zoom. And then allow. Yeah, you probably have to allow Zoom access to it. Okay, we're going to start pretty soon. If you cannot get work, just uh, just don't show your face, and then we will get together next time. We still we have a few other people. They don't show their faces, so that's okay. Okay, so are we ready? Sure. Yes. Okay, we have almost twenty people join us, uh, so it's going to be fun. Okay, hi guys. Hi, Sharon the Frank. How are you? Hi. Okay. So we're, we're all good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna start now. So I am going to do the talk. So this class is, this workshop is all about uh, how to use the magic mushroom. And oh. then I have uh, my magic mushroom here. And then, um, you know, they, is it something you guys really have to know to get understanding about uh, those magic mushrooms. So, okay. First, we are going to make them ready to work. If they are dry, they don't blend in well. So you got to make sure they are moisture. First, we have our water here, right? And then I'm going to show you do some comparison. And then they can be clean. I have a two yellow here. Okay, so we're going to just uh, kind of deep in the water. Okay, just clean water. You kind of just dipping no, over I here. Yeah. Yet. Oh, there we you see are, you, Cindy. Cindy. Don't hear me. <laughs> okay. Hi, Lisa. So we're gonna start now. So you're gonna just dipping this uh, sponge inside the water and then kind of just uh, squeeze a few times. If you just dip, you don't scream. Uh, if you just dip, you don't squeeze. They are not going to absorb the water well. So just uh, you can see there's some foaming here. So just a few times. Hold on. Okay, and then see the difference. So you want your magic mushroom moisture, but about the not the wet. Okay, so if you are new, uh, new to the Zoom, you cannot talk. If you talk, your camera is going to switch to you. Okay, okay, so let's get uh, ready for all your magic mushroom. Just try to make them ready. Yeah. First, okay, so kind of just a very quick to have uh, all your magic mushroom ready. Make sure you got to like a uh, squeeze them out a few times. When you Lisa, can I quick ask a question? Yes. The plastic container that you just got those mushrooms out of, where did you get it? What is it? This one, I think you can get it from the container store. And then they On actually the feed the, the feed the holding base. And then feed what them store did you say? What store? Um, container store. Container store. Okay. Yeah, it's actually my I friend get my friend that. get from um, US. We don't have a con container store in Canada, so okay. okay. So very quick to make your magic mushroom ready, and then you will see when you touch them, you will feel that moisture. Remember, the dry magic mushroom doesn't blending well. 
And then if you Sorry. don't use if you don't use this magic mushroom for a few days, they will come back to the original shape. Okay. Don't soak your magic mushroom inside the water like this because we don't want the tube to um suck the water. So, and I'm going to in the end of a, a video, a video the workshop, I'm going to show you how to uh, clean it. I guess I didn't have one. Oh, she's trying to clean it. Hey, Lisa. Yes. If you go to participants for me and you add me, change me over to an admin, then I oh. can help you with the sound and pin your video for you. Okay, how to do that? <laughs> um, you have to go into where the participants are. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, Amanda, how to do that? So if you go into where participants are. Okay. And then you should find my name and then you should be able to switch me over to a presenter or admin. I do the participant and then I cannot see you all. I cannot. Why we, we, we kind of. I don't think heard me all that time. She was saying hi to me and I was. Oh, talking. yes, I got it. Oh, let me add you, Amanda, Amanda. Thank you. And then I'll go in and I'll mute everybody. And then if you want to talk, you just unmute yourself and then I'll pin your video so that people don't overlap it. Okay. So, uh, uh, okay. So I went, I found you and then what I have to, and I see the mall more and then what I have to do. So there should be one that says, um, move to participant or move to admin. Did you bring those oh, why do we have this noise? More. Um, there's two um, videos <laughs> too close to each other that are. I see the unmuted. microphone and the video. There should be like a little three dots. If you like arrow over me, there should be three dots. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and then, and then what I have to do? What are the options that it's showing you? Which one did you do? They show safe child participants can charge with no one, host only everybody public, everyone public and directly. So the three dots. Miss Patty, would you mind muting your screen for me, babe? Because you keep coming over. Okay, sorry. What I have to do? Okay, so read me the three dots one more time, honey. I'm sorry. Okay, safe child participate can chart with no one, host only everyone publicly yeah it's not giving me the admin access then okay let me see we show these okay there you go okay so go over my name one more time in the three dots the so three find dot, me yeah yep. no no up by my name go to my name okay and then the more okay and spotlight for me make a host huh? make a post make post Okay. Perfect. So now this will allow me to. Okay, let me find you. Do I do the change host? Yeah, so do not change host, but okay, now I'm a host. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and I'm going to mute everybody. And I'll unmute you. Give me one sec. Okay, go ahead and unmute yourself, Lisa. You can unmute. Okay. And then I'm going to change you over. Beautiful. Give me one second. I'm going to pin you spotlight for everybody. So now you, it will not change. So Great, you are now spotlighted. So <laughs> Good to have that. So, Good to have so your spotlighted. Okay, guys. It's okay, I got you. Okay, so thank you so much. Okay, so let's make all your magic mushroom ready. And then we are going to start it. So I'm so just one, one, one more thing, and then I'm going to mute myself. Okay. I'm going to mute myself here in a second, Lisa. But okay. if you want to ask a question, so you can use the chat feature, or okay. you can just unmute yourself and you're able to ask any questions. Okay, guys? Okay, yeah, so have you guys gathered this uh, chat room on the right side if you want to ask anything. So just send me a text message and then I will unmute you, okay? Okay. Hi, Andrea. Okay, so let's get our magic mushroom ready. 
Okay. Okay. No, I feel so quiet. <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, ready. We are going to just. Uh, I kind of missing all the noise. <laughs> noise, no. Okay. So if anybody, okay, that's kind of quiet. Okay, so. See the difference? This is uh, the one that's dry and this one is the wet. Okay, so we are going to um, just pick up one color, any color you like. So we are going to start from the beginning and I'm going to show you step by step. So I am going to just uh, use an uh, uh, orange color and then you are going to have a some Watercolor cardstock or the cardstock. Is this just spare cardstock, not the prepared stuff? Uh, no, just a uh, just a scrap, just a piece of scrap. Prefer to use watercolor cardstock. If you don't have a watercolor cardstock, you can just use the regular cardstock on recollection. Um, you need to be a little bit thick, okay? So uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I am using. This is a very good quality car. So I got from Michael. Sometimes they have a buy one, buy two, get one for free. So this is uh, 140 pounds. So it's good for blending. Okay, so I'm going to grab a piece of watercolor paper. So I have some watercolor paper here. I show you the difference. And uh, I have some, and this is a recollection. I have a both of them. I just found out the watercolor paper, they blending, the colors show better. So, okay. Okay, so we're gonna use our magic mushroom first. Okay, and then they cannot be too wet. If they are too wet, they won't pick up the color. So they just have to be moisture, okay? And then you are going to use a dye base impact. You can use your magic mushroom with uh, um, pigment impact, but they have to be very careful because, because the pigment, um, if they dry on your magic mushroom, your mushroom is going to become harder. So make sure if you use the pigment like a oxidize or like a pigment impact, after you use your magic mushroom, you have to clean it well. Treat your magic mushroom like uh, your expensive brushes. Okay, so that's a starter. We are going to, is it hiding inside <laughs> mine? Okay. So we are going to pick up, uh, we're going to do some practice first, okay? You can use your um, scrap paper first. Don't use your expensive uh, watercolor paper. So you are going to, you can um, um, dipping it. You can like a tapping it or you can brush it. They all work, okay? So we're going to just do a little bit practice before we really start. So you're going to just kind of tapping first, okay? So you can just, uh, when you hit hard, is it become darker color? When you release a little bit pressure, is it become lighter color? Okay, so just a tap tap or tap hard or release a little bit pressure. Okay, so that's one way we are going to do it. The other one we are going to just gently tapping your impact. Okay, we are going to draw a circle. Okay, so you start with a circle, okay, and then we start from the middle, we are drawing a little circle, and then remember when you're holding your magic mushroom, you're going to try to use your finger to hold in the sponge. Don't try to wiggly the sponge part, because if you do this too often, they are going to be, what's that word, behated? <laughs> 
the, the sponge is going to break it off. So the magic mushroom actually they look like leaves. Inside is like leaves. Okay. So we don't want we don't want your magic mushroom is uh, is break the sponge is a uh, break off from the 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 holding tube. One set of magic mushroom can they will last for a long time if you handle with care. Okay, so we did the robin one. So we're going to start with the middle and the gently bringing up. Okay, just give it a try. So you can tap in the middle or you can draw in a little circle. Start from the middle, draw in a circle. And then when you move out, kind of release a little bit of your pressure so that you can get at least a look. Okay, remember always holding your magic or mushroom, always holding your finger, try to support the sponge part. Okay, anybody have any question? No, no, no question. I kind of missing your voice. <laughs> no question. No, no question, anybody have a question? Okay. Now we are going to move with next. Hey, we have a 23 people joining us. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to, um, you can use, uh, this is actually the uh, recollection cards that I get from Michael's. So we're going to use uh, these uh, um, watercolor, the Kensen, Kensen watercolor card stock. So we're going to do these. Okay, so we're going to, Try the two skill I just showed you. The first one, I'm gonna start from the right side corner. Actually, let me grab something I can show you guys. Okay, so now you guys can see better. Okay, we're gonna working on the four corners. So first, Okay, make sure your mushroom mushroom is not over in. So we're gonna start or tapping part. Okay, so let's start from the first corner. We are gonna start from your scrap paper first, and then we're gonna just gently tap. Okay, so this is a tapping. Gently, kind of like those kind of yoga bouncing bowl, kind of just a bounce. Most of the people, when they, they ask me, when they use a magic mushroom, they see those marks. So today's workshop is about the blending, how you can blending well with these magic mushrooms. So you can see, I start from the corner and I start tap tapping, right? So, and then remember, you want to have a nice uh, blending, you have to slowly build it out, okay? So then I'm going to do again, Start from the corner, okay? Sometimes you can add a little bit in and then tap. And then you can control when you're bouncing, sometimes you're bouncing hard, sometimes you're bouncing a little bit gentle and then go back. How's the feeling of a bouncing? That's going to be your daily, today's exercise. <laughs> okay. So that's the first one. Now we are going to do the, um, the circling. So this is one color. Later on, we are going to add the two color, okay? So now we are going to working on the circling and remember, you got to go back to the, um, pick up a little bit more ink. So every time when you start your, your card, you start from your um, craft paper. Don't start right on top of your card stuff. If you start from top of your card stuff, this is going to happen. You're going to have a mark. So we are going to try to blend it as smooth as we can. We, we, we want to avoid this one. So always start from your um, the scrap paper. So I start from here and I'm drawing a little circle. So I'm going to draw in a little circle like this. Okay, so from here, oh, one more thing, fingerprint. Okay, in Alaska, you must be laughing me now. That, there you go, that's your fingerprint. So that's grab a piece of paper, always try to, Protect your special is white if you're working on something white. Okay, so now we're going to uh, start from our corner 
draw a little circle. Okay, come back to build it out. When you want to start with a darker color, so you kind of um, don't put all the pressure on your magic mushroom. So they can be very light. And then keep your magic mushroom flat. I mean, the, the, the bottom of the magic mushroom, okay? Try to use the, the bottom of the magic mushroom. So you can have a very, very light color. If you want a darker color, go back. and go back. So you can combine the tapping and the circling. Okay, see how smooth it is. Okay, the next we are going to do the different kind of direction. So we already learned the tapping. We already learned the circling. Now we are learning the rolling. <laughs> so this is a, or today's exercise. Whew, I'm sweating already. How about you guys? <laughs> okay, the rolling part is, the rolling part is perfect to build out some, um, let me see if I have uh, my sample. If you guys uh, watch my video, there is uh, uh, oh, this one. So it's kind of rolling technique. Okay, so we are going to use the side of the magic mushroom. Okay, kind of brushing only on the side. Oops. And then don't drop your mushroom on the floor, <laughs> on the, your desk. Okay, so we're kind of just uh, dragging and remember always start from your scrap paper. If you start from your car start, it is going to have a starting line. We try to um, avoid that. So rolling your magic mushroom on the side, and then you're going to just uh, drag one direction only, one direction, right to the uh, left to the right, or right to the left. The trick is to start from your scrap paper. Okay. Right so to the left. Thinking of when you're inking up the mushroom, do you have to go all the way around to make sure you have coverage or do you just kind of go in one section? Just one section. Yeah, but if you like to do the extra, you actually, that's a very good question. You can go, you can like a rolling smart. See, I just learned something from you. You can actually rolling, see you, you see the local king? You can kind of rolling your mush mushroom so that way it can save you two calories. <laughs> okay, so kind of just a, Robbing and remember the first two, the tapping and the circling, you kind of have to control that sometimes when you're rolling or like a, you're dragging the color, you kind of like a, you push hard, it becomes darker, you release a little bit pressure, it's lighter. Okay, so rolling and then right to the left. Okay, but the one direction. I show you what happens if you don't do the one di direction. If you do this, it may have, oh, but that looks nice too. I try to make it like a woos happen. So try to do the one direction, but you know what? I shouldn't say you cannot do it. You know what, do whatever you like. It's just that sometimes if you don't control well, they may be, let me show a darker color. Maybe you can see better. So let's do, Let's grab one darker color. See, if I don't do one direction, I kind of like a, if I do, well, it still work. So, but the, I kind of like a one direction because you, if you start from your scrap paper, you kind of like a lefting out. I think the sky looks uh, like, I think the color is just uh, blending better. What do you think? Or, you know what, this is the, you do whatever you like. Okay, so that's our first color. Now we are going to, so this is the, the one I just showed you. So you can tapping, you can circling, 
and then you can roll in. So um, after the, this workshop, I will send you the uh, free file for this car. So if you have a digital die machine, you can give a try. Um, if you don't have a digital die machine, what I do is if you have any butterfly die you can try the same thing. So this is what I do is I just uh, cut the butterfly and then this is inside, the, inside the, that die cut. And then I kind of just uh, color, make it look like a sunset color. So just be creative and uh, give a try. Okay, now we are going to working with a two color. So what I'm gonna so do Lisa, is- Lisa, I have one more question on the yes. rolling. So yeah. you still have to hold the mushroom so that it doesn't bend uh, or cause then your no. fingers get really dirty. Okay, if you do the rolling part, don't holding, uh, you, it's a little bit hard to hold in the roll. So just be gentle. Okay. okay. So you don't have to hold it if you are rolling. Good question. Okay, now we are going to do the two color. Okay, so we're gonna use the first one that we tried. Okay, so we are going to, let's do this. I'm going to just use this purple. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same thing, the tapping and the circling. Okay, so always make sure you have some scrap paper testing your ma uh, magic marshal. You don't want to over ink because if it's not dark enough, we can always go back to add more. But if you make it too dark, we cannot fix it. So let's just uh, do, uh, we do the tapping first. Okay, tapping your scrap paper. Okay, kind of bouncing. If you don't want to hold in your magic mushroom like that, you can kind of just uh, like a, you like a smoke the cigarette. Okay, I don't smoke the cigarette. Okay, cigar. Okay, kind of just holding like that. Use your finger to kind of support that uh, sponge part. Okay, and then go back. Okay, so that's one color. So this kind of technique, you can you can um, create like a beautiful sunset, which we are going to working on this one soon. Okay, so that's our tapping, and this is uh, our um, circling. Okay, remember you can control. Try to hide that stroke as much as you can, gently blending. And then use the flat part of your magic mushroom. So you can combine tapping and the circling together. That's what it looks like. And then if you want to use a third color, we can do the third color. Um, let's do... So, I love, uh, like I say, memento are my favorite color and there is a colitis color, but a memento only have a 36 color. So yes, if you want to talk, guys, if you want to talk any questions, so here is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna show you something, okay? So on your screen, here have a, a microphone sign. You just click this sign and you can unmute yourself, okay? So. I'm missing your voice. So ask some question if you have. So, but this is the, the um, Memento only have a 36 color. Some of the blue, they don't have like a teal color. So I have a little colitis color. The only downside of this color is they are the section. So I wish they have a more color for the Memento. I love the Memento color better than Catherine Puller, but uh, they just don't have enough color. Okay. If you want to use more than three colors, you just, uh, first of all, you have to be careful, always testing on your car stock. I have a question, or, Lisa. Yes. Should you start with your lightest color first or should you start with your darkest color? Very good question. Always start with a lighter color. Anything you do in the art, always start with a lighter color first. In case if it's not enough, we can add more if we, um, start with a darker color, we, we won't be able to make a lighter. So always a lighter color first. Okay, 
So um, I'm going to use the uh, darker blue, I think, uh, auto marine. Okay, so these one have a, some kind of section, but that's okay. If you're not sure, you always testing on, on your scrap paper first. Okay, so that will work. Usually orange and the blue shouldn't go together, but because I put some magenta color, so it should be fine. So always uh, tapping. Okay, or circling. So that's my darker color. Does it make sense? Okay, so now we are going to actually, we are going to just try one first. Um, don't know, did you, you can use any image that I, I, um, I provide to you. It doesn't really matter. We just want to give it some color. And those magic mushroom is perfect to do the, to call it the background. Okay, so just grab any, uh, maybe the C, the C, let's try this one. So I'm going to, let's keep it simple. Don't um, make it too many color. We only use a three color and I show you what I do, okay? I'm going to use a little bit yellow, okay? So I'm going to just, uh, this is the first color, we're going to just tap it, okay? So I'm going to just uh, start, just gently tap tap, start in the middle, I'm going to hit hard and then release a little bit pressure. So one, two, three. So we are tapping only, okay? And then we are going to do a little bit orange, just three color. Oh, that's, um, yeah, three color. So I'm going to do a little bit orange and I'm going to show you how to clean your magic marshal, okay? So we're going to just uh, pick up the orange or just a very light. And then we are going to gently tap. And then when the, you, you can connect these two colors, okay? So I started orange here and I gently tap into the yellow, but when I um, meet yellow, I'm going to release a little bit pressure. So they will create a new color. I want you to try to avoid the border line as much as you can. Try to make as smooth as you can. Okay, so that's my orange. And then I am going to do a little bit magenta color. Okay, tap, tap. You know, the best part of this magic mushroom, actually they can blend in the color together. Oh, see? My um, red matching mushroom is a little bit too wet. So I, you can see, I don't really pick up the ink. So be careful, your matching mushroom need to be moisture, but not wet. Okay, so this is the one is a little bit too wet or maybe the color is a light. Okay, let's do that. Okay, gentle, you get a lighter color. If we want a darker color, go back to add more. Okay, let's add a little bit green. Okay, first of all, testing your magic mushroom, we don't want it too wet. Okay, let's do this, gentle. And then look how pretty these two color connect with each other. Okay, so you get idea, um, try to keep it simple. When you hit hard, it's a darker color, when you relieve a little bit pressure, it's lighter. Okay, I want to see what you guys do. If you guys did something, can you just hold it in front of your camera? I want to see what you do with the, the card that you create. Hello, anybody want to show? I want to see you guys, did you do? Anybody want to say, great, hi. Good, good, good. Okay, any questions? No question? Okay, so let's move on to the next. Let me take a quick note. Oh, okay. So we are going to, um, that's a uh, find, uh, that's to uh, show you something. Okay, we are going to, let me grab. Okay, if you have a one more, 
This time we are only going to use the uh, one so Lisa, shape. a few more people are showing their images for you to look at. Oh, thank you. Good, good, good. Okay, just remember on your car, the lightest color has to be like a take a 50% off. You do the lightest color. The darker color, you use a very nice. The darker color, you use less. Okay, so 50% um, is your darkest color. Sorry, 50% is your lightest color. 30% is your like a medium color. Only 20% is darkest color. Be careful with your darkest color, okay? Because you don't want your darkest color to take over. Okay, next, we're going to use the same image. Okay, oh, you can use a different kind of image. We are going to use only one shade. So I'm going to just use this blue. I want to show you how you can um, use the one metric mushroom and then too many different kinds of shades. So first, you can see my magic mushroom, it was a kind of blue, it's a kind of dirty, right? So I want to show you how to clean it. After you use your magic mushroom to the darker color and you want to go back to the lighter color, you've got to clean your magic mushroom. So for example, my magic mushroom is a kind of blue, right? So you are going to kind of just uh, don't soak, just kind of dipping in your the water and then kind of squeeze the water out. Okay, just a few times. I can see the water is very clean already. On your, uh, on your match mushroom, it maybe still show the blue, but that's it. And then after you do that, you're gonna use your dry cloth to kind of absorb the, that moisture. Okay. If you want to talk to me, feel free to unmute yourself. Just unmute, just, uh, just unmute. Let me. I have to say that I don't think your water looks very clean at all. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> well, if you want to change it, it's okay. It doesn't really make a difference. Okay, so that's two D's. I was going to say okay. too that if you're on a, if you're on a PC, uh -huh. If you don't want to have to keep on muting and muting, you can just push your space bar and it'll do the same. Oh, thank you. Okay, see, my mushroom was like this. Now my mushroom is like this. It barely have any color. Okay. What do you want to see? I use the yellow tapping on the blue. <laughs> Anybody want to see? Anybody want to see? You can sure. do, huh? Yes. Yes, okay, you wanna see. So this is a yellow, right? And then I'm going to do that. But once when you do this, your yellow is going to look like this, okay? So that's it, but you can kind of create a green, but don't do it. I just want to show you, you can clean it, okay? So we're going to do this a few times. You know, those, uh, tool mean to be used. So don't be afraid. Use it. If your magic mushroom is clean like this, that's bad. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So that was something like this, right? Make sure absorb, I mean the dry your magic mushroom Try yellow. Okay, make sure it has to be dry with your um, dry cloth. Otherwise, they go. So don't worry to, you know, if you accidentally dip in your magic mushroom to some wrong color. So just don't worry, you can clean it. And then, see, I am bad teacher. Put the, that's the holding base for, put the back. If you are in the Orlando area, don't put the, your magic mushroom back to the container. They might grow some mold because you, you after you want to store your magic mushroom, make sure they are dry. And then next time you want to use it, you just uh, um, wet them. Okay, now we are going to use a blue magic mushroom, which are already clean. Let's uh, grab a light blue first. So that's just a try. 
always testing. Okay, just to try a few. Okay, tapping. Okay, remember the light color need to be 50%. Okay, you can tapping, you can circling. So this exercise is showing you that you are going to use the one metric mushroom for three different colors. So I start with my lighter color and then now I'm going to use the middle one. So because the leaves impact have a section, right? And then if I do leaves, it probably show the section here and here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just kind of circling a little bit, see? It doesn't have that line anymore. Okay, circling. And then gentle, gently tapping. Okay, circle, gently tapping some area, bouncing. Okay, don't losing your lightest color, okay? On your car, we want to see light, 50% your light. 30% your median and 20% your darkers only. And then remember, if you use this section one, drawing a little circle, that's how you ink. And tapping or drawing a little circle. Okay, and then we're going to go with our darkest color now. So I'm going to drawing a little circle on my impact. So that way I don't show that section. Okay, and then find the, when the darker color, they create the depth. So if you want your, those curl looks a uh, different, like a three dimensional, you just, uh, okay, like we, see this part is like a deeper, right? Okay, circling. So this is, That's it. If you want to add more color, it's going to look even better. So I just want to show you how to clean your magic mushroom. Are we good? Good. Give me a thumb up, not the fingers. <laughs> this is crazy how little ink you actually use. Like a little, little bit goes a really long way. Yeah, so the paper is very important. Um, good quality car stuff. I found the recollection, the, I think it's a hundred pound. Hundred pound is actually good, but at least the Kenson watercolor paper, I found out is the best. And then they actually, this paper have a two side. side. One side is a, a little bit rougher and the one side is more smooth. So you can use it either side, they will work just fine. And then remember, see even my water is very dirty, but the, they can still do the cleaning job. Um, I don't know about you, you, um, you can clean right after you use it, but I usually, I don't do, I don't clean uh, right after you use it. I usually clean it when I need a lighter color. So even you don't clean it right away, later on, you want to use a lighter color, you can still do it. So it's a really good tool. Okay, next, we are going to working on our sunset one. So I printing on the yellow car stock and then this is just inexpensive uh, car stock. It's just a, like a very thin yellow car stock. It worked just fine. And I also have a one print on the recollection car stock. You don't have to use a watercolor paper all the time. They will work, but it's just, uh, don't use a regular car stock, like a 65% car stock. Um, the color one is okay, but the, if you want to use the plain one, they usually, they don't take ink well. I don't know where did I get these cards that they actually good. Okay, so we want to create the, some kind of like a sunset and then you guys already learned, you can do the rolling one, you can do the circle one, and then you can do the tapping one. So um, it's really depend on what you like to do. So when I use the yellow one as my foundation. So that way I don't have to build it out my yellow, but it is totally depend on you. What do you like to do? Let's try on the white car stock. 
So we are going to make sure your um, mushroom is not too moisture. Okay, so circling, uh, this one is a little bit too dark. That's uh, is orange. Let's do the yellow. Okay, so remember in the beginning of the class, I was showing you guys, we are going to start and then be careful the, the, the fingerprint. Okay, so we come to just start from the circle. Okay, don't expecting once um, one layer, you are going to get a very, like a, the things that you want. You really have to build up. Okay, so we start with a very, very light color. Okay, try to avoid the stroke. So do the circling and remember to support your sponge. Just one color is really pretty already, right? We will see what's different when you standing, I mean, when you use the plain card star and the yellow card star. And then this is just a recollection card stuff. Okay, and then about the color, you can do, what you can do is, so let's do the other one. Okay, I want to call it go like this, or I want to call it usually sunset is a, like a, a, like an outside, like a getting the sunset color. So if you are not sure what color, use your phone and then find the one sunset photo. That always helped me. So let's do the Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest and the sunset. Sunset picture. Okay, so. Let's find the one. You know, there is a lot of picture. See? Okay, but this one have a cloud. So let's see, like this one, you can create something like this too. For the cloud, you probably ask me, say, oh, how are we going to do the cloud? Well, later on, we can use a white color to add the, the cloud, like this one. Definitely, what are you going to do? You create your, your foundation. This is something I'm, I'm showing you. You can create a foundation and just give a silhouette image in the front. like to put some palm tree, you can do that too. So usually the sunset, like, um, like a, the middle part is a uh, lighter because it's still um, around the sun, right? So lighter, the out outline one is darker. Okay, so you can do that, or this is a one way to do the sunset, one color. The other way is that we can start from the middle. Okay, start from the middle, doing the circling. Kind of like a brushing. Start from the needle, circling. You know, you do whatever you like to do. Um, this workshop is just a hands-on. You just want to give, like a feel how to use this magic mushroom. So in the middle, okay. Remember the trick is hiding your stroke. I always start from my scrap paper, kind of blending, like a bring it out. Okay, and then this one, I use a laser printer to print my image, but for you guys, you can use a stay zone or um, the stay zone use a reposition um, tool to stem like a few times. You got to make sure your uh, black image is completely dry before you do it. Or what you can do is you can do, you can use a, a, like a Versa fine and then you can seal with the clear embossing powder, anything you like. Okay, so that's just one way, okay? Rubbing, I mean circling and then tapping. So that's on the white car stock. Let's see the comparison of on the yellow car stock. Yellow cards that if I do this yellow, it doesn't really show because the the when I using yellow cards that is kind of like a shortcut. I just uh, 
try to, you know, save probably two minutes to color my yellow. You do whatever you like. And then we are going to use orange and then my magic mushroom, I can see, I can touch is too wet. So just uh, make sure. Okay, now we are doing this. Okay, tapping or circling. S same thing, you are going to build out. It's just instead of you do your all your yellow, you just use your yellow as a foundation and then just to save some time, do that, slowly build up. This is the regular car stock. So I just drop a little bit of water, you can see. So use a good quality car stock, okay? Circle. Okay, remember I say 50% lightest color, 30% um, medium color, and then 20% darkest color. So the yellow is going to be my lightest color. So you have to take a, like a 50%. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that do this. Okay, and then you can rotate. Okay, so circling, try to hide your stroke and corner, from your four corner. Like this. And then from here. Okay. So you can see my yellow color, right? Or you can even like put a moon, like a use a masking to mask a moon. Actually, I kind of pack all my stuff, my, my punch, but you guys get idea, maybe next time. Okay, so now we are going to, you can jump to use the purple or we can use the red. That's it. Just give a testing before you do. So tapping, circling. Question, everybody working hard? Good. Okay. How's the feeling of those magic mushrooms? It's really, really I found that my blending is a lot easier taking this class, so. Yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of people, they, 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 they purchase the magic mushroom and they say, wow, we cannot do the blending. But the, the trick is you got to make sure your magic mushroom is moisture, uh, but not wet. And then the bouncing, blending, you have to like a control it sometimes, just release a little bit pressure. They, they are so easy to blend in. Compare with the blending brush, you name it. I have all the blending brushes, but uh, I think uh, they are just uh, fast and easy. I, um, I was doing the cleaning. I have a lot of those daubers. They don't really blend in this much smooth, but uh, every tool have their, their, their unique way, right? So, okay. And then that- So they said- Yes. My orange, because we'd been using it, was a little dry. And I found yeah. I was like really having to work at the blending, but my red was more damp and it blends, it like glides on the paper. So it should be that smooth glide versus kind of like hiccuping, right? Yeah, you just have, you know, figure out that the best way that you are comfortable with it. Just make sure your magic mushroom cannot be too, too wet and it cannot be too dry. When they don't blend in well, that means they are too dry. So just go dip in the water or use the, the mist to give a little bit. Or you know what, What if, if you find dry, you can use your wet cloth. If you don't want to just uh, um, dip in the water, just use your wet cloth, kind of give a little bit moisture. What a dirty rag, <laughs> sorry. You can kind of just use your wet cloth to give a little bit moisture too. Okay, and then now we are going to Add a little bit purple. You know, if you're not sure about the color, which color you're going to use, like I say, go to internet, download some 
um, find some picture help you to blend. So I use the purple instead of a darker red. Okay. See? If you find out, like I use my purple and I kind of like a circling, right? But I found out the color doesn't really go. So I tap it to give a little bit darker color. Or you can use a darker purple too. I like to build it up instead of like use a very heavy color that I cannot change. Hey Lisa, this is what I've done. You, let me see who, who are you? Margarita. Margarita, hey, good, see, there you go. Guys, want to show me what do you, what do you have done? Wendy, are you doing good? Okay, you have to unmute if you want to talk to me. Okay. I'm still on red, I'm a little behind. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do something else. I am going to grab a piece of scrap paper. We are going to do some... We can add a little bit. You know what we can do is, we can come, we, we did the tapping, we did the circling and we did the rolling, right? So we can actually add a little bit rolling if you want to, okay? You can, that's, this color is not dark enough. So that's a find a little bit darker color. Maybe blue will do. Okay, blue. Well, we, we give it a try. So you can combine your, your car. You can actually, if you want to, Okay, but then remember one direction and then always start on your scrap paper. Okay. If you want to add a little bit like a... It's like a, oh, like a, like a Halloween, like a spooky, uh, like a spooky color. You can do that. Oh, this one is not belong to here. Okay, let's see. Let's try a little bit darker. Okay, well, that's kind of like a spooky color if you want to. Or, okay, the next thing is uh, what we can do is we can use our magic marshal. Um, we are going to just, you can use your, like if you have a cloud, like a stencil cloud, like a or you can just uh, build out your own cloud, okay? So, you can, I like the circling because uh, that's a very fast way to color. There you go. Let's do this. Did I use the wrong mushroom? It's supposed to, okay, gentle. Okay, so now you guys, the most of three way to do the color is the tapping, circling, and the rolling. Okay, next. Let me take a look at my notes. Did I missing anything? Oh, okay. Now we are actually, if you have a background stamp, any background stamp will do. And then you probably need some glossy car stuff. If you want to do this, the glossy car stuff works the, um, the best. Um, you can use a regular car style. If you have a stamp positioner, you can um, do that too. So we are going to use the uh, magic mushroom to coloring. Okay, so try to use uh, one color for the, for the 
like a yellow go to the yellow family, orange to go to the family. Just try to do that. If you accidentally deep in the wrong impact, that's okay. So what we can do is that we can, you can directly use your impact on top of your stamp, or you can use your magic mushroom to ink it. The, when you use a um, magic mushroom to ink it, it kind of just like a blending the color. Let me use a little bit darker color, you can see better. Let me do this one first. Okay. okay let's do this. Okay, I don't know, can you guys see? Let's do a little bit darker color, so. I, don't, I can't really see the colors, but I can see it wet. So. Okay, let me do this way. Can you see the color now, right? So you can use a magic mushroom to kind of soften those two colors. Okay, just wait until I stamped it, you will see. You want to use like a, a multi-color on the background. You probably have like a small um, size impact, you colored it. But the point is that the problem is that when you ink them, they will leave that sheet there, right? So the magic mushroom will be the blend, like a blending tool. You can blend it on the paper. You can blend it on your stamp too. So that's do, oh, okay. So now, you can see that blue, right? And then now I am going to just use my magic mushroom. Kind of blending a little bit. Oh, if you want to borrow this uh, blue to here, just do that. And I already show you guys how to clean your magic mushroom. So don't worry about it if they get a little bit um, dirty. Okay. Now, the paper is very important. If you use a glossy paper, you won't have a problem. But if you use a regular cardstock, the color might show as a, as a um, vivid. So you probably have to use your stamp positioner to stamp a few times. I usually don't stamp my image. I usually put my car on top of the cardstock, and then you can use Oops, I already pack everything. This one. <laughs> hey, I get a what do you call this one? What's what do you what do you call the, um these uh, tool. huh? They have a name for this one. And then they have a big fight on the internet about the this uh, it's a chucky tool. Oh chucky tool, chucky chucky, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the chucky tool. See, now you get a multicolor just like that. Okay, maybe here I have to blend in a little bit more, but you get idea. So this magic mushroom is not just for the paper. You can use it on your stamp too. So that way it can help you to blend in much better. Otherwise, is there any other way you can get a multicolor for your background stamp? Any other way to do that? So this is a great way. And then if you want to go back to add more color, first of all, you make sure this is completely dry. So this, okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit color. I'm going to add a little bit green or light blue for my jellyfish. Or once when it's completely dry, you can, um, okay. But this is a glossy paper. Gloss, when you stamping your image on the glossy paper, you can only tap. You cannot blend in anymore because this is a glossy paper. If you use a glossy paper, your magic marsh on the glossy paper, they they don't. <laughs> I try to show you can't do that. Why you work that? Um, sometimes when you use a, I try to make a. Well, it shouldn't work, but it work. When you use a glossy car style, maybe this is not glossy enough. If you use like a crunkle glossy car style because of glossy paper, they are coated, right? When you apply the color, 
they probably will show the straw. They won't be able to blend in together. Okay, but on the glossy paper, see, now I want to go back to do the a little bit darker color. That's it. They won't, they, huh? what's happening? It should have worked. Okay, they don't really, they don't really take the color anymore. Okay, so that's like this. Let me see if I can do even like a more darker. The color compared with the regular cardstock, it's just not really, I don't know, can you see? They don't really, it shouldn't blend in well, but I don't know what happened. They blend today, it shouldn't blend well. Okay, so the color is a little bit lighter. Just be careful. Try to tapping instead of uh, rubbing. Okay, so I'm going to just, uh, I don't want to wash my magic mushroom anymore. I kind of just use a wet cloth, kind of just wipe out the color. Okay, and then dry with a dry cloth. And then I just want to give a little bit, what color should I use? Light blue? And how light blue should be good? This is a very, very light blue, No, too light. Let's do a little bit green. So just remember the magic mushroom you can use. Oh, this is a nice green. Magic mushroom you can use. Okay, and then remember when you're tapping, okay? Heat hard is darker color. Release a little bit pressure is a lighter color. I don't want to have a, like a circle like this on my car. So I just want to give it a little bit color. And then we always leave a little bit white. Don't color everywhere. So it's just idea, and then you guys can give it a try. Okay, and then one more thing is that when you want to use your, um, stamping your stamp on the glossy cardstock, you have to be very careful if you have any dust on your stamp, they will pick it out. And then when you transfer your paper, you will see it's going to be very, very ugly. Okay, and then um, background stamp, you want to get a nice image, always use an eraser, kind of erase the surface, okay, everywhere, and then clean those uh, crumb, and then they will give you a nice stamp image. So it's just something fast, instead of uh, you like uh, do too many, um, you just uh, use impact and use your magic mushroom, kind of like a blending the color, okay? so. That's it. And the one more thing is we are going to do some stencil. If you have a stencil, grab a stencil. Let me see if I can find. Okay, so just grab a stencil. And then those magic mushrooms is awesome for the stencil because it's fast and it's easy. And I packed that one too, okay. So I'm going to just uh, tape it. Okay, and we are going to just use the stencil, same thing. Just want to show you how fast you can color these. Okay, in the corner, hit hard. And then because we are not uh, like a, you can do the rubbing too. Sometimes when your stencil is like a very, very detailed. And then when you use a blending brush, they usually go under the, the, the stencil. But uh, because the, the magic mushroom, we, are, we can tap, right? So when you tap, you don't have to go worry. We actually are kind of like holding the stencil that far. And then you can actually control. I just want to show you, you can tap in, you can do the rubbing, but just be careful if the stencil is really, really detailed, try to use the tapping instead of uh, um, rubbing. And then see how fast this one can do. And then we can go back and then they were blending the color together too. So let's do these. And that, that uh, <clears throat> do a little bit green. See, I don't even need to deepen my. It's so fast. And then the color, they can blend in together. I'm going to show you something else. Usually, orange and the um, 
blue, they are the contracting color. So if you blending orange and blue, usually you get like a very, very dirty color. So I'm gonna show you. So Lisa, are you using watercolor paper or the glossy paper for this? I use regular cardstock, like a recollection cardstock. When you want to do the like a bl um, blending, you use try to use uh, like regular cardstock. They blending better on the glossy paper. The only time I use the glossy paper is I am coloring on the stamp like a blending on the stamp, I will use the glossy paper because they will pick up the, all the color. If you use the stamps, you put the color here and you use regular cardstock. You know what, let's do one. So you will see what's the difference. Okay, let's finish this one first. So usually orange and the blue, they are the contracting color, right? So they blending together, they supposed to be get dirty color. Okay, so we're gonna just be gentle, kind of like a swip brush. Okay. Show you. They don't show the... Okay, that's add a little bit red with green. I don't even bother go. I remember when I was a student and then uh, we take a, like a watercolor class. The most challenging one is, uh, I, I think in North America, I have never seen the tomato is a mixed green and the red. But in the Asia, we have a tomato is, uh, is not like a, I know in, in the North America, when the to 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 tomato is ready, they turn from the green to the red, right? But in Asia, we have a, some kind of uh, tomato is a mix with the green and the red together. And then um, when I was a student, and the most challenging part is that when we do the water coloring, and then usually the teacher will draw a tomato which has a green and red together. That's the most challenging part is to Mix these two colors together. So just want to show you, see, this is all green and the red. You don't see the dirty green. You see like a, they actually blending together. So that's just a one thing about the magic mushroom um, is a perfect for the stencil. Okay, and then the stencil, that's the one thing I will clean after I use it because uh, if you don't clean it, sometimes when you apply, if uh, there is a color sticking on your stencil and then you use, a, you want to do the lighter color, they will kind of pick up that color. Okay, and after they still have some gap, right? If you want to fill it up the gap, that's use uh, like a, we use a very, very light green. We can add a little bit green on top or we can add a, you can fill it out the gap. Just idea. Okay, so one more thing about the, um, using the, are we doing good? Good, good, good. Okay, one more thing is about, the, we are gonna use this magic mushroom to color or stamp image. So I have my Mr. London Vlog here. Okay. And then I stamping my Mr. London Frog on the one regular cardstock. And this is going to, is a, just a regular, like a thin computer photocopy paper that will do. That's going to be our masking. So you can use the magic mushroom for the coloring, but only if you have the die cut. So because uh, we have a, or die cut, so that make it easier because uh, when we coloring, we don't really have to worry about it. And then we are going to die cut it. After die cut it, it, is, uh, it doesn't matter. So let me find my die cut. Okay, so let's do the coloring. We are going to do my water lady first and then we might need the, a small applicator I mentioned this one. You can find this one from the dollar store. 
dollar twenty five Canadian dollars, or you can um, find me some from from the uh, Amazon, or you can go to Sofiro, the place they sell the makeup uh, store. They you can just go inside, ask, and then they probably give you a few for free. Okay, so let's do the coloring because uh, there's a little bit smaller area. Okay. Okay, so that's to do my water lady first. I am going to so do this one. Oh, I'm going to just clean my. Let me bring a little bit closer. Okay, so we're going to do this uh, for the coloring. Ah, I want a very light color, so now I probably have to wash it. My magic mushroom. Okay. See, now my magic mushroom is very clean, right? So I'm going to just uh, give it a little bit. Remember, I always start from my scrap paper because if it's not enough, I can add more. I just want to have a little bit color here. And then we are going to use a little bit yellow. Too bad when we launch a magic mushroom and then we hit the pan pandemic and then we have decided to retire. We was uh, thinking about uh, we launch a magic mushroom, the large size first, and then we was going to have a small ma um, magic mushroom. But uh, now you never know what's happening, right? So plain change. Even when you use this small applicator, you draw a little circle and then you go in uh, in the middle, you can just uh, um, add a little bit darker. They are not uh, working as well as our magic mushroom, but it does the job, okay? And then um, green. I'm going to do the green. Well, actually, before we do the green, let's add a little bit yellow on my Mr. Lunar Frog. Okay, a little bit yellow and the green. And remember, always start from your scrap paper. Okay, don't start on top of uh, your image. Okay, so rotate it. This is just an example. You can use uh, flowers, uh, any other image you like, because we're going to die cut, right? So it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then we are going to add a little bit blue, and then you know the best part of this magic mushroom is because of when you. They can be uh, they can blending together. See how pretty the color can be uh, can um, blend together. Do we? Okay. Okay. And then now we are going to put our masking on top. Okay. So we're going to do the masking. I have at least a reposition uh, tape. Before we do that, is that I want to make my frog pop out more. So this is our masking is image. And then um, if you take a look at the design, we can easily trimming, just trimming the frog off. Okay, they have a, some kind of like a kiss cut. So it's very easy if you want, if I want you to trimming this frog off, it probably a little bit challenge, but now, is much easy because uh, it's all we are going to use this one cut it be cut it be okay so this is our masking okay we can masking the frog working on the background or we can mask this one. You know what? Let's do the both way. We're going to make a very poison frog. 
So I'm going to use my, we can even mask in the flower too. So this is kind of pre-designed that you can't make your job much easier. So we're going to just put this mask in here or just in case you can take here. Okay. And then we're going to make a very, very poison frog. I'm going to make it like a red, red. Okay, Lisa Young, put your tour back to the station. Here you go. I'm very neat crafter. Okay, now we are going to, you can like use like a bright red. And don't worry about all that because we're going to die cut it. So I'm going to just uh, do these. Okay, we can make it a red color. Okay, or we can use our small applicator to do a little bit touch up if we want to. Blue, any color you like. Okay. So that's one way, or see my frog is already pop out, right? Don't worry, there's more. And then now, I think that's okay. Okay, if we want to make a, or background a little bit darker too. This is just like a one other way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna just use my small applicator. So you can just uh, holding your, kind of just uh, give it a little bit, that your frog is more pop out, just to give it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna put the googly eyes on top, don't worry. And then now we are going to die cut it. So remember, create a guiding window. Very, very important. And the pull down top. So that's a, also one way you can use this magic mushroom if you want to create a like a too many car in the short time, short period of time. That's definitely speed up. You can give like a foundation color and then you can use the markers to give a little bit touch up. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Ta -da! Okay, my eyes is not pop out. So no, not my eyes, my frog's eyes is not pop out. But before we do the final touch up, I am going to just uh, give a little bit more touch up here. And we are going to do our famous uh, 3D eyeball. Okay, so now I'm going to make his eyes pop out. What color we should have his eyes? Black, beet, uh, blue, light blue maybe. Okay. If you want to, um, you can use the, the white do I have it here? Oops, kind of pack all my stuff. I hope after I unpack, I can find uh, my stuff. So we're gonna give uh, the 3D eyeball. This is one of my 
very, very special technique to share with you guys. Okay, so this uh, new voo. I know this is a king in the Illinois and the Cindy's and Patty's. Uh, they had uh, so much fun when they were in Orlando. Okay, don't shake. I'm not shaking. I'm just uh, trying to make uh, all the ink come down. Okay, so this is instead of uh, those googly eyes. I am actually sweat. Here is hot. I'm usually like a cold blood reptile. I don't sweat, but I guess I worked so hard today. Okay, so I'm going to just use a white color. After you do this, this frog is, it's kind of like an icing. Give enough. And then you can put some toenail too. Okay. And then Going to give a little bit blue. I'm not shaking. I'm <laughs> just uh, shaking like this, right? So this is uh, not shaking. So don't shake. If you shake, you get bubbles. Okay, put a little bit blue. Oops, blue. Okay, and then for the black, we don't put it directly on top. We just uh, use your poking tool, okay? Just to pick up a little bit. Give a try this, uh, I think I'm able to do that. Uh, that's kind of just a little bit dotty. Aha, uh -huh. is that cute? And then um, if you have some white, those kind of gel paint, you can kind of highlight his mouth. And then I found out his toe is uh, not poison enough. Uh, I found the yellow this time when I was in the Orlando. I'm going to give him some nail polish. It's kind of like icing. Okay, if you haven't got a chance to watch this 3D eyeball video, you got to check it out. It's the awesome video. You are gonna enjoy it. Okay, so, wow, I control the time, exactly 11.30. That's what it look like. So, hoping after this workshop and then you have learned all my secret how to and be careful this one who's always say all my secret how to using those uh, magic mushroom oh one more thing see i have my frog right i'm going to do a quick background so what you can do is you can use the a stencil on top of this uh, um, stamp image. That's just a uh, very quickly give some color. They remember, if you don't want that line, when you ink your um, mushroom, draw a circle. And then we just uh, give a very fast uh, very fast background. You know, sometimes if you want to make a lot of a car, this is the fastest way to do it. See? And then, there you go. That's a fast car just mount on some black car stock. That's it. Okay, and clean your stencil after you use it. And then put all your matrix mushroom back. So that's all about 
how to use the where is the, the up here Okay, so that's everything about uh, the magic mushroom. And I really hope after today's workshop, you guys uh, um, more understanding about uh, how to use those uh, magic mushroom, how to make uh, ready to work, and then how to clean them, and then how to use those magic mushroom to color um, your stamp image. Uh, um, any questions? Hello, I'm missing you guys' voice. Anybody want to talk to me? <laughs> I enjoyed the class. Thank you very much. I Hi. hope you can. I found one. Hi. You like that one? Mm -hmm. That's a Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Lisa. What did you, what have you learned today? Thank you. You are very welcome. So um, Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, well, enjoyed the so class, tomorrow, except I need. Um, this uh, this workshop, I will send. I, I will send. So everybody's microphone is on too. If you want to talk, so after this workshop, I will send you the link for the video so you can um, rewatch this one and feel free if you want to share with your friend. I don't mind at all. And tomorrow we have a yeah. one more workshop yeah, for the match uh, for the magic marker. I will also send you guys the link. I know some of you guys took my class uh, in Orlando, so this is uh, basically the workshop that I taught in Orlando. So if you like to join me tomorrow, I will send you the link tomorrow too. So just uh, um, I hope you guys can join. Yeah, link, yeah. It's about the markers. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, we are thinking about to run a cruise uh, next year, February 13th, leaving from Tampa after the Stand Fast Clear Water Show. Um, we haven't decided yet, and then I will keep you guys an uh, update. So anybody have any question before we leave? Lisa, what do we need to have prepared for tomorrow? What do you tomorrow, want us to have? Tomorrow, the most important thing is just to have your markers ready and then have some detail stamps. That's what we did. So That's have some detail stamp and then have oh. some shadow stamp. So um, Mr. Random Frog is the detail stamp. So tomorrow class is more about uh, how to use the, the marker to do uh, blending and uh, water coloring and uh, on the shadow stamp. The most important thing is the color on the shadow stamp. What's different between the shadow stamp? Shadow stamp, let me go grab one. It didn't turn, I messed up on this. Oh, so you don't have another one. Oh, it's all right. Because I have I have I got green on the leaves. I really like the way her white is. Okay, so this is a shadow stamp and on um, your package it should show the S. That means it's a shadow stamp. The shadow stamp is different. A lot of people still don't know what's different between the shadow stamp and the detail stamp. The shadow stamp is a reverse image. Okay, you can see the rubber is raising up. The, we are going to call it directly on the stamp. And then the detail stamp is like leaves. So we are color on the paper. So tomorrow's class is about the how to use the marker, color on the stamp, and how to blending directly on the stamp. And then, um, so yeah. So just something like this to share with you guys the sound like uh, um, some, some of the trick that I know. And uh, I'm hoping you guys can join me tomorrow too. I will send the, um, the I'm going to be working on the link because I think I'm going to post on the YouTube and give you the, the special access to, um, to re, uh, watch this video again. And then I will send you the file for these, uh, Butterfly 
car. So you can um, give a try to try to use the rolling technique. And then I will send you the password for the tomorrow le lesson. So it's uh, just uh, using a marker and then King in the Illinois party and Cindy, if you guys want to join me again, um, should be fun. If not, um, I hope to see you guys next year February in the clear water and hoping you can join our cruise. What time is tomorrow? Tomorrow, same thing, 10 o'clock Pacific time. Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. I was having a hard time stamping the images. It Which was like one? that. Almost all of them except the frog. I was oh. having like, the ink would be on the stamp, but uh -huh. it wouldn't adhere to the paper, just little dots. It was like I was having little white dots on the paper instead of the black ink. Yeah, that was the, what I was talking about is because if you are, have any dust, you are going to have a problem. So what I will do is you are going to use that. I'm going to show you. Let me see if I can find. What paper were you using when you were stamping that? Was it a glossy paper or the watercolor? Uh, those ones, yeah, there's a regular recollection, uh, recollection car stuff. So there is a few way to do it. So look how many magnets I have. So if you want to get the, the best image is, how come there's a dot, dot? What I will do is uh, I will stamp in any image on the one white car stock and then I will bring to the staple accident to do the photocopy. Otherwise, every time what you want to stamp, you always, uh, you know, you have to stamp and the wait, wait for the, wait until it dry, right? So I'm going to show you what I will do is, that's just to find the regular car stock. Don't try to ink your stamp, like a, don't expecting one cover of the ink, you will get a nice image. We are going to do like a two time. So that's a graph you, I think this is just a regular car stock. Like my coffee. You know, if you drink this one, you're going to become like an expert of uh, crafting. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't listen to me. Okay, let's do these. I should cut a little bit bigger. Okay, if you use the watercolor paper. The water paper, like I say, there is a two side. One side is a more rough, one side is smooth. Okay. And then, Ken in Illinois, what kind of black impact did you use? I used multiple ones. I used a brand new uh, Memento. Uh -huh. I used Versamark and I kept re-inking it after each stamping. Uh -huh. um, I used Ranger Rick, the little squares. Okay. Um, I never did get a very dark image and I was inking them two and three times. Okay, first, let's try these. If the stamp is new, try to use eraser to erase uh, all the image. Okay, I even filed it twice with sandpaper. Really? Do you have a handy? Can you show me? The sandpaper? No, the your stamp image. It, it, oh. Well, let's see. It was the tree image and I did it on orange. Hang on. Okay. Looking for my extras. Hmm. Here they are. Okay, how do I show them to you? Just show in front of the camera. And that was after inking them several times. Okay. 
See on the bigger, thicker parts yeah, where they just- is, uh, some, I think it's some dust because I, I have this problem too. So, okay, here is what we're gonna do. Oh, don't use a, what kind of paper did you use, Kim? Um, well, that orange, I bought this from Hobby Lobby, that orange. And then I also stamped it on regular 110 pound cardstock. Okay. I think I can see is the dust because uh, I get that some pro the, the, the same problem too. Okay, so let's try this uh, Versafine. Okay, let's try. So, when my ink pack is kind of dry. Oh, there you go. Well, at first I thought I it was because my ink pads were dry. So I went through multiple black brands mm -hmm. and then I finally opened my new Memento. And I used that thing. Chucky. Whatever you call it. Yeah. It's okay, so and let's do one more time. This is just a regular car stock. I think uh, it should be some dust. I don't do like a two, three times. That's pretty good. And then let's just do, I think I probably have to shim in my, I don't have that piece of foam under. I, and I did. I don't know if that makes a difference. No, I, I did. Can, I can see every single one or just that tree, the spread. If you get a dust on the glossy paper, um, that's on the stand because usually glossy paper will pick up any dust, but on the regular car side, you should have, it should be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it a try. Maybe it's a defect item. <laughs> I just think, I didn't think I should be having to stamp it that many times. No, the, the brain, uh, to get the black image. No, the branch one, it shouldn't be because the, the branch one is not like a solid image. It shouldn't be this hard. It should be much easier. So, you know what, try um, try one more time. And then um, if you can take a picture, send me, uh, send it to me. Maybe it's a defect icon. I, I will send you the, the, the replacement. I don't know, will the replacement be any different? Okay, let me see. Oh, why replacement? Let me see if there's something wrong with the stamp. Oh, because okay. Because as I say, I, I didn't think a replacement would be much different. Yeah. Okay. I use a misty on the Ranger Jack luggage on the hammer. Got your iPad. You, you know what? But then maybe it's the paper. Did you try to use different kind of paper? Try to well, use. Well, I use I use this orange paper. Mm -hmm. I use that. Try to stamp it on some white cardstock. And well, and then I did it on white cardstock also. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Lisa. Yes. This is Cindy. <laughs> I had I used watercolor paper. I used the heavy the 110 pound cardstock, and I had the yellow also. Uh -huh. um, I had trouble with. Uh, I didn't have trouble with the dew drops, and I didn't have trouble with the frog. Otherwise, I did the rocks, the coral, yep, the tree, over. and the big right leaves. Then? And had trouble with all of them. Well, you don't where it was supposed to be solid. You can just watch. Where you, it was you supposed have, to be solid. Cindy, you have a problem with a frog? <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't. The frog and the dew drops, I did not have a problem. And then you it have was the tree, the coral, and the, um, the, leaves. the leaves. I had the same problem with each one of those stamps. Uh, let's take a look. And I tried different um, 
Like I say, I had different papers that I was using. And I stamped. Does anybody those... have the same issue? Yes, we're both having the same issue. I stamped 30 of those for Halloween cards. And I would have thought after stamping them that many times that it would, the ink would adhere to the, the stamp, but it didn't. Let's try this one. So you mean on the because of these, if you um, if we are talking about like a different one, like a dew or like a jellyfish, it probably have a more probably. That's more common if you get the uh, like some white dusting area, but not the uh, not the spread. This is a branch one because this is a branch one is considered as the uh, shadow stem. Oh, uh, sorry, detail stem. Okay, so these is the. Uh, Okay, let's see how is she using the stamps. I'm just gonna, I did use Misty on all mine, I must say. See, she's doing the dew drop. I didn't have trouble with no, that. No, she's not doing that, Cindy. That's oh, okay. the back of her paper. Yeah, this is oh, my back okay. paper. She's doing the tree. Here a little bit, but I think uh, it should be okay. Do you mean like uh, here? Here is a little bit, I think I don't have enough ink. Do you think- I had mul Go ahead, Cindy. I had multiple areas. Wherever it was more solid black, I had tiny little white dots, but the ink was still on the stamp. Okay, can you, I think, oh, I know what's the problem now. I think your stamp probably we have some kind of glue. Can you grab a eraser? an eraser? Yeah, just you want to, to go over it with an eraser. Just to go over the place that you have a problem. Okay. Okay. I did not do that, so I will do Let that. Me see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. I think because of when we make this stamp, it probably. And then be careful those uh, um, eraser crumb because uh, they will definitely, oh, you know what, what are you gonna do? After you do these, you can try these on the different, okay. After you do these, just some. Uh, and put tape over it, okay. Okay, and then let's try. She's erasing it and then put the tape to get all the little pieces. Now it should be fine. And then be, uh, make sure. Yeah, not much, but it's not, uh, my, my, okay. my, my paper is not the flat, is a, have a some texture, but yeah. I think that will be much better. I think uh, on your stamp, you probably have a little bit glue. That's why. Oh. Yeah, well, give a try and then keep me updated, okay? Okay. Okay, okay guys, know. thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Lisa. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Enjoyed yeah. yeah, I hope you guys have fun and uh, I am going to be um, tied out for the moving for next one or two months. And then uh, once when my studio, uh, studio is set out, I will come up with some um, new video and I uh, will get connect with you guys. How far right. are you moving from your house now? Only five minutes away. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you can take a car full every day. I know. That's why we have been, we are hired a mover, but, uh, but for our personal stuff, we kind of slowly, every day we go like sure. one or two times. Yeah, but moving is not fun. I have a, too many junks. <laughs> why are you moving? Bigger house or what? Or 
downsizing? Well, well, you know, the husband is in the construction business, so he has yeah. like a new projects going. So that's why we, it was a surprise. I wasn't planning to, to move at all. So how's the yeah. dog doing? Dog, want to see him? Yes. Yes. Let me go yeah. get boo. Cindy, can you see my my camera there? Can you see my frog or not? No, I'm I'm just got oh. one person. Okay. I'll I'll hey, Kim, I'll, I'll spot like you. Go ahead, show it again. Go ahead, show it again. I see Cindy. Really? Oh, so I like cute. the flower. I want to I want to put his um dewdrop eyes in. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, I like I love that flower. Yeah, yeah, her lily pad, I should say. I wasn't too thrilled on all my other stuff. I was, I liked, oh, oh is he a doll? Hi, Dave. He must have become a small dog and then he become like a 35 pounds already. 35? Oh, that's all right. I can barely carry him. How big is he supposed to get? I hope he's under 40, but he's almost one year old. Oh, okay. He's and what's his name? Boo -boo. Boo, -boo. Boo, -boo. Boo, -boo. Boo Boo. He's a doll. Boo Boo. Hey, Boo. Look. Look. Boo -boo. Hey, Boo Boo. Look. He <laughs> says, I can't. Say, so they don't have treats for me. So, oh, there he is. There he is. He's a doll. <laughs> She's having a hard time getting him up there. He's, he's, <laughs> so happy. he's sweet. He's cute. Hey. Okay. Okay, guys. Bye. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. Tomorrow. I can't do class tomorrow because I have a, a commitment. That's okay. I see you next time. We will definitely do more uh, workshop later. That sounds great. So Miss Lisa, I, I have one more question. Yes. For tomorrow's class, which paper do you want us to have? Tomorrow, if you have some glossy paper, that would be, do, uh, that would be great. And then we okay. are going to need a watercolor paper too. Watercolor paper also? Okay. Yeah, and some okay. glossy. And Amanda, thank you so much for helping me today. Of course, no problem. Okay, see you guys. Bye. All right, bye. 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 Bye.